All right, so we're going to look at a couple of word problems today. The first one, there are six sandwiches for four children to share equally. How much will each, how much sandwich will each child get? So we know that since we're sharing sandwiches, that comes first. So we've got our six sandwiches divided by our four children. So now we have more sandwiches than children. So they're going to get six fourths of the sandwich. Another way to think about this is they're going to get one whole sandwich plus two fourths or one half. So they'll get one and a half sandwiches each. Now, if we switched it around just a little bit, now we only have four sandwiches to share. We still have the six children, or we have six children now instead of four. So we have less sandwiches and more children. So four divided by six is going to give us four sixths of the sandwich. So they're not going to get a whole sandwich. Now let's look at another type of problem. And so this time we've got what is one fourth of 12? So I'm going to draw a picture to start out with this. So I'm going to draw 12 objects. And because I'm wanting one fourth of those objects, I'm going to have groups of four. So I've got one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So you can see I'm kind of I'm putting these in groups of four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I want to know what one fourth of twelve would be, I know I can just take one of these groups. So I'll take this one right here, and so there are three in this group. So one fourth of twelve, one fourth of twelve equals three. So let's look at one other type of problem. So this one's just a whole number multiplication problem. We're going to review that and on your practice today you'll have some of each type of these problems. So I'm going to use the area model for 63 times 45. So I'm going to just draw my box and I'm going to split up the 60 into 60 and 3. So I break it up into the 10s and 1s and then I'll break up the 45 into 40 and 5. And then I multiply 40 times 60. So I know 4 times 6 is 24. So 40 times 60 would be 2,400. 40 times 3 is going to be 120, and then 5 times 60, I know that 5 times 6 is going to be 30, so 5 times 60 would be 300, and then 5 times 3 is going to give me 15. So then I can add these together, so 2,400 plus 120 would give me 2,520. And then I've got 300 plus 15, so that's going to give me 315. So then I add these two together to get 2,835. So you'll have some multiplication problems to practice today, some equal sharing, and then some where you are going to find part of a number like we did in the second example where we had the one fourth of 12. So look back at this if you need to as you're working through the problems.